In this blog, I am going to discuss about how you can create static dynamic routing using TypeScript and Next.js. Next.js is uh, just high level and next generation of uh, JavaScript. It built on top of React.js. So it's uh, it's tremendously generating, uh, optimizing your application. It will load fast. It also provide you the SEO support by using CSR or SSR. So all of those uh, required stuff, what you need to create for a uh, build and a web application, Next.js is providing to you. So it's a really base framework I have ever seen so far, and uh, just trying with the next JS uh, with TypeScript and the React for our first application creation, it's really worked for me. And I'm the same thing I am going to discuss about how I build it, how I am deploying it, and how the, I generate the build as well. So, in this uh, blog, I am going to uh, discuss about those few points and um, the application will look like uh, it's very simple but uh, only the few navigations and mainly concentrating on the uh, how the dynamic route is working so let me go back to the this uh, diagram so i am i am having one navigation which is having home books blog and about all are static but when user click on books we, I am about to show a list of books category over there. Let's say the uh, comics category, story category, literature, thriller, like that way. So uh, when I am selecting one of the category, it will load the all the comics related to that category. Let's say Tintin, Asterix, now uh, whatever it is. So when user click on each book then it will show the book details so the uh, cover page of that book user can read that book whatever it is so these two blue box are mainly created using dynamic property or dynamic routing so uh, let's see how the books books category books category book title this uh, subscript with the category and uh, subscript with book title those are dynamic and uh, now how I am creating this one that is you can see like uh, by using static get static paths and static props so static paths and static props those are the feature which provides the next chase and those methods were called during compilation time but while it is running, if you put a debugger, those uh, methods will not be hit. It's only handled using compilation time. So if you are trying to debug this code, you definitely need to uh, put some console log in your terminal while compiling. This two method will be fetched and uh, accordingly you can make the changes or you can fix your prop issue. So, uh, like that way, the path is being created. Let me show you the how the demo it is. So, home page slash is mainly the for home books is all the books is uh, is uh, loaded here and it's completely responsive as well. So in mobile view, it will uh, appear. So, uh, in books see that books that is also a static routing when i am clicking on let's say asterix so i am having the list of books under asterix category and uh, this is the dynamic and while clicking on the first book the i am just adding the title and the id of that book so uh, this is again a dynamic so how you can do that uh, just you can check out the code uh, also I have added the bootstrap here uh, you can uh, check check out how I could uh, include bootstrap and uh, how I am uh, using the 
mobile uh, mobile uh, responsive uh, menu as well so all of those certain features are given in 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 the code you can check out and uh, feel free to comment out here and if you have any suggestions please comment below